Good morning everyone, this is the Ford Explorer extended range all-wheel drive and today we're going to do a range test at 130 kilometers an hour. I charged the car to 100% here at Ionity and MEB platform confirm it charges great above 90% at 98% <coughs> I still get 36 kilowatt should be done in two three minutes um, but not everyone needs that, but for me that's amazing. Um, this car has 20 inch summer tires on, 235 in the front, 255 in the rear. Um, like I said, all we drive 250 kilowatt. It has a 79 kilowatt hour battery, the same as the ID3 GTX. And I'm right here at the highway, go on the highway when we are at 100% and drive the 130 GPS bit the whole time. And then arrive with around 10% on the other side at a different Ionity. I'm on my way driving 133 on the speedometer which is 130 GPS speed you can see the beautiful head-up display here and the beautiful cockpit here and I have my driving data in here and it's 10 degrees out there but when I put the driving data full I can see the outside temperature <laughs> and it doesn't it's not shown in the infotainment system as in my ID7 I can see the outside temperature in here as well my consumption so far is high because the first 10 kilometers are uphill totally normal um, I have the heat on 22 degrees just my side in auto airflow on minimum all good um, yes I'm already at 95 percent <laughs> used 5 percent for those 10 kilometers uphill and that's why you have to drive a bit far so further so you can uh, really calculate the range more accurately and I'm in normal mode not in eco I used 25% of the battery and drove 73 kilometers that's a full range of 292 kilometers that's not a lot um, but you always have to think I'm driving 133 constant speed when you're going on a long-distance trip I did a long-distance trip with this car yesterday there's a speed limit you have to change highways you that you're going uh, to the highway you're not right there on the highway I'm really literally going on the highway off the 200 meters and then driving the 133 the whole time and it's possible right now it's going a big uphill or downhill so we only see the real consumption and then uh, a range at the end but still 258 watt hours per kilometer is my average consumption that's pretty high at what is it 11 and a half degrees and the heat now at 21 and a half degrees the Ford Explorer extended range all-wheel drive on a long distance trip and it's really nice the suspension is more a tiny bit more on the sporty side so I feel the bumps a tiny bit more uh, noise level is totally fine at 130 it's only wind noise I don't hear the tires cruise control is perfect I have my distance on one and it slows me down far uh, uh, not too far away but not too close and in a very comfortable way and I have of course the steering assist on and it's just perfect the only thing is that it uh, the way that I drive so like this and uh, touch slightly here it doesn't recognize my touch so if I don't steer if I just hold then it doesn't take long till I get the warning and sometimes I miss it and then it's the beeping 
that just happens and I had that with other MEB platform cars it's all about the steering wheel how it's made and how the sensor that's in here the sensitivity setting I think other than that it's fine I can uh, I'm listening to a podcast I can hear it well all good it's comfy in here the seats are a bit harder so they could be a tiny bit more soft but it's not bad I used 50% of my battery and drove exactly 150 kilometers so the 300 kilometers of full range our range went up a bit my consumption went down a bit and when we look at the gasometer how much range we have it says 200 kilometers so it hasn't adapted to our speed yet um, this is my data for the whole drive left top is the average consumption right top is my instant consumption average speed is amazing drive is great we're gonna change highway soon in a few kilometers I just turned around going back to the charger I turned off the function that it preheats the battery we're gonna look I think the battery is perfect temperature anyways because MEB platform cause the battery doesn't have to be very hot it's 15 degrees out and I'm driving 130 I think it's fine I should arrive with 11% have 83 kilometers to go I have 126 kilometers of range Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. And how can you do that with NCharge? NCharge is an app and when you are at a charger like this, you can rate the charger and tell the charging provider is, is unclean, is something not working. And the charging provider is so happy that via NCharge, it gives you kilometers and stars. And with this, you can charge for free. Check the link in the description below and get 20 kilometers for free if you sign up. I arrived with 8% drove 289 kilometers 243 watt hours per kilometer which my average consumption so i looked and google maps says it's it's also the same kilometers 289 so and i get to a range of 314 kilometers today with barely any heat it's not that cold yes big tires and all-wheel drive but i'm a bit disappointed i was expecting 340 or so maybe even 350 it's a bigger battery, 79 kilowatt hours. And on my long distance trip, it was okay. So, huh, <laughs> very, very interesting. I'm doing a charging test right now. See if it charges the same as the ID3 GTX with the 79 kilowatt hour battery or more like the ID4 GTX that back in the day when I tested had only 77 kilowatt hours. It now also has 79 but but nice nice and if you want to compare cars there's a link in the description below with a google sheet with all the cars i have ever tested in the different speeds 90 kilometers an hour 110 and 130. if you want to follow me on instagram better life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes I have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care Bye!